A new national hotline for mental health emergencies is launching on July 16th. KSBY News reporter Delaney White joins us now live with more information on how this hotline can help. Delaney? Well, the pandemic was certainly hard on everyone's mental health, and it even caused some people to reach out for professional help. Local behavioral health experts say they're hoping that this new 988 hotline will help to better connect people with local resources. The pandemic brought about many changes within our community, including openly discussing mental health. As more and more people begin to prioritize mental health, the available resources are improving. The 988 Mental Health Emergency Hotline is launching nationwide on July 16th and will connect crisis centers across the country. The 988 Hotline is free and can provide referrals to people who are struggling and don't know where to turn. Jessica Avancina says during the pandemic, Aspire Counseling saw people of all ages start to struggle with depression and anxiety. I think that really highlighted the need for, you know, more services. Anyone struggling with suicidal thoughts or ideations, experiencing a panic attack, extreme anxiety, or struggling with persistent depression can call this hotline as a first step to get a referral to the best local services for them. Anytime that somebody's having a high level of anxiety to the point of a panic attack, that can be very, very frightening because it can very much feel like you're dying or feel like you're having a medical emergency. 911, what's the address of your emergency? But Avancina says if someone has already been told it's likely a panic attack they're experiencing, this is the perfect number to call for assistance in that situation. There was something that nobody wanted to talk about once upon a time. Now everybody is ready to talk about it. Kaplan says he thinks the pandemic prompted the creation of the 988 hotline because it took a toll on everyone's mental health. People are seeking help and they need more resources. Those who are struggling with mental health or have questions about mental health resources can simply call 988 to be connected to an operator. I think it's so important to make access easy, and that's what a 988 line is going to do. The Central Coast already has a mental health hotline community members can call if they're in need of help. Kaplan says the Central Coast hotline, which is run by Transitions Mental Health, would like to eventually merge with the 988 hotline to ensure people are being connected to local resources. The 988 is going to be an easier way for people to dial, similar to the 911 system. Behavioral health specialists say this three-digit number will be much easier to remember and call than the current 10-digit number for the Suicide Prevention Hotline and the Central Coast Hotline. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Delaney White, KSBY News. Delaney, thank you. And until the 988 hotline launches in July, people can call the Central Coast Hotline. It is a confidential mental health guidance, crisis, and suicide prevention telephone line. It is available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for free. You can call the number. It's 800-783-0607.